Hey, what's up my dear students? It's Naresh Babu. Welcome back to Physics Crash. Students, in this session, I am going to discuss about neat MCQs from Laws of Motion. Let us start the game. Laws of Motion. Neat MCQs. 2021-23. Here the first question. A shell of mass M is at rest initially. It explodes into three fragments having mass in the ratio 2 is to 2 is to 1. Look at the figure. Here one shell is exploded into three fragments. One fragment is moving along x axis with the momentum P1. Second fragment is moving along y axis with the momentum P2. And third fragment is moving along Z axis with the momentum P3. If the fragments having equal mass fly off along mutually perpendicular directions with speed V, the speed of the third fragment is. So here among these three fragments, two fragments having same speed V. So we have to calculate speed of third fragment. It was given in NEET 2022. Here are the options. From these options, we have to identify correct answer. Solution. From figure, magnitude of momentum P3 is equal to resultant magnitude of momentum P1 and P2. See, look at the figure here. If you observe the figure here, the resultant magnitude of P1 and P2 is equal and opposite to the magnitude of momentum P3. So we can write magnitude of P3 is equal to resultant magnitude of P1 and P2. See magnitude of momentum P3 means M3 V3 that is equal to resultant magnitude of P1 2. That is, if you apply parallelogram law, these two are perpendicular. So, between them 90 degrees is there. So, we will get uh, root over m1 v1 whole square plus m2 v2 whole square. Okay. It is equation 1. See here, they have given first two fragments in the ratio 2 is to 2. So, I will consider let m1 equal to m2 equal to 2m and m3 is equal to m and also they have given two fragments with same speed v i will take v1 equal to v2 is equal to v now one implies see i substitute above values in equation one then uh, i will get mv3 is equal to root over 2mv whole square plus 2mv whole square if you simplify we will get v3 is equal to 2 root 2 v so from the given options option b is the answer my dear now second question a ball of mass 0 0.15 kg is dropped from a height 10 meter strikes the ground and rebounds to the same height look at the figure see here one ball is dropped from a height 10 meter and strike the ground and rebounds with same height the magnitude of impulse imparted to the ball is given g equal to 10 meter per second square so we have to calculate magnitude of impulse imparted to the ball it was given in NEET 2021 options see from these options we have to identify correct answer Solution. See velocity before striking the ground that is V1 is equal to root over 2G H1. So if you substitute in the place of G10 and in the place of H1 10, then we will get root over 2 into 10 into 10. That is equal to 10 root 2 meter per second. See given H1 equal to H2. That implies 
V2 also 10 root 2 meter per second. How? Because here H1 equal to H2 means there is no loss of kinetic energy due to collision. Okay. So after collision also it gains same velocity that is 10 root 2 meter per second. Now impulse. We know impulse is equal to change in momentum that is equal to mv2 minus mv1 but v1 i will take minus why because v1 means it is in the negative y axis direction that is downward so i took sign convention here then if we write m outside inside the bracket we will get v2 plus v1 now i will substitute in the place of m 0 0.15 and uh, in the place of v2 and v1 10 root 2 then we will get 3 root 2 kg meter per second that is equal to 4.2 kg meter per second option b is the answer my dear now we will go with third question here the third question calculate the maximum acceleration of a moving car so that a body lying on the floor of the car remains stationary look at the figure See here one car is there so we have to calculate maximum acceleration of the car so that a body which is uh, lying on the floor of the car remains stationary okay so here the body which is uh, lying on the floor of the car so we have to calculate acceleration of this moving car when this body remains stationary okay the coefficient of static friction between the body and floor is 0 0.15 given g equal to 10 meter second power minus 2 it was given in neat 2023 options so from these options we have to identify correct answer solution see we know that limiting friction that is fl equal to mu mg i will write this is in the form of ma that implies a equal to mu g so in the place of a we have mu g okay so we got acceleration is equal to mu g now substitute in the place of mu 0 0.15 that is coefficient of static friction into g that is into 10 so we will get 0 0.15 into 10 that is equal to 1.5 meter second power minus 2 so we got uh, maximum acceleration of moving car so that body lying on the floor of the car remains stationary so from the given options option b is the answer my dear a football player is moving southward and suddenly turns eastward with same speed to avoid an opponent look at the figure see here football player is moving towards south suddenly he turns towards east okay to avoid opponent we have to calculate the force that acts on the player while turning is see we have to calculate the force which is acts on the player when he is turning towards east it was given in neat 2023 here the options from these options we have to identify correct answer solution see from figure force acts along northeast how see here player is moving towards south suddenly he takes turn towards east to avoid a opponent okay so here i will take opposite uh, speed of this player one vector that is minus v towards north so that is minus vs okay so this minus vs and this uh, speed towards east both are uh, forming parallelogram here okay so with that too i will form one parallelogram so the resultant if you observe means it is acting towards northeast 
okay so from the given options option b is the answer my dear that's about uh, this session my dear students i hope you like this uh, video if you like it please put like thanks for watching my video please subscribe like and share it bye students